rejected me. You listened to the devil. You showed him confidence. You, you who until yesterday knew nothing of Satan, you so easily made him your trusted friend and master. I respected your freedom, although you owe it to me. You surrendered it to your fiercest enemy. You unwittingly became his aider and abettor, and you have paid for it with your misfortune. Above all, you failed to understand that your enemy used you to root their eternal evil in your kingdom, in the place where I put you, heaven. So you could never, never find peace again. Okay guys, welcome to the Let's Play. We are going to be playing a game today called Great Dawn. I actually picked this up for the Steam Halloween sale. I intended to play it around then. I just didn't get a chance to. Um, and since it is sort of Christmassy themed and it's uh, actually Christmas Eve today. Let me just check. Yeah. It is the 24th already. Um, I figured we played this game. I mean, I know Christmas is really supposed to be a joyous season and not a season where you play horror games, but... Uh, I don't know. I, I like horror games. I like Christmas. Uh, I think there's something to it. Um, another good example of a Christmas horror game that is kind of fun and sort of cozy, I guess, for the holidays is uh, Still Life. Uh, Still Life 1, which is actually pretty... It's a pretty good little adventure game. I like that game. Um, it takes place at Christmas. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the game. Um, I am just going to check that we are recording. Uh, it looks like it. Yes, everything looks good. Uh, okay, so let's get into this game. No, we're gonna do new game. It's just testing settings earlier. Yeah, so I'm going in completely blind. I don't know anything about this game. All right, here we go. Sorry, I was just waiting for that little cinematic to finish. We guys, okay. So this is a pretty nice house. I gotta say that radio is a little loud. Oh, is it E? How do I? It's locked. It's locked. Okay, it's quick. Eating is not a sin. How vile. He who is greedy and is always in want. Horace. Let's actually flip it over. Is there anything on the bottom? It's a dead badger. Oh, well, that's not unsettling. And also, wasn't he on top of the radio just a minute ago? I could swear this thing was following me. I thought it's not about, like, ooh, it might be or not. It clearly is. Alright. I'm really digging the atmosphere in here. Nice and cozy. I'm in Arizona. It doesn't. I mean, actually, last year we had a pretty nice snow day, and it was nice and cozy inside. We lit a fire, but uh, yesterday I think the high was in like 70 something. Does get cold at night though. It's it's currently freezing outside right now, but um, it's like 30 or 29. But it's just, yeah, it doesn't. And we haven't had weather. We missed our monsoon this year, so we haven't had rain. Um, we haven't had any overcast days 
de almost definitely not going to get any snow. I'm really liking the graphics in this game, too. It's a really nice-looking game. A lot of attention to detail. David, can you, can you ever forgive me? Would it be a horror game if you didn't start not knowing or, or having some mystery about some horror that you, you know, horrible crime you committed in your past and you have to atone for it? I, I think it's illegal to make a horror game that doesn't have those elements in it. Me and the children from St. Anne's Orphanage. So they all look like porcelain dolls. They all look exactly like him. I mean, he doesn't look any different in this photo than he does right there. I don't know if it, they're supposed to look like dolls or it's just Uncanny Valley. So we're a priest, apparently. And we used to run an orphanage. I guess we ate all the children one winter. That's my guess so far. That's what I'm guessing. I don't really have any basis for that. This is a pretty elegant tea setup. Look at this. It's some kind of cake there. I, I used to know what that was called. It looks like toast with jam on it. That is a pretty in indispensable addiction. I gotta say, that does look like a pretty tasty cup of tea. Actually, you know what? That looks more like coffee than tea, but... Yeah. I feel like tea can be stronger than coffee quite a bit, so actually, I, I made a pretty stiff cup of tea the other day. I had two of those, and I was like, damn, just because I didn't want to go through all the rigmarole of making coffee. All right. I walk the void. I am eternal. And that's a hawk. That's not a raven. I was remarking to myself when I was just testing audio. This seems a little dissonant. These do not seem like... I think these are maybe slightly off-key to, to be sort of creepy because these don't sound normal, these Christmas songs. What is this? Like, normally this would be sort of a cozy atmosphere, regardless of the doll that follows you and the implications of something horrible happening. Um, aside from that, this should be feeling pretty cozy. Also, the mic the audio mixing in this game makes the the volume of this just slightly obnoxious, and that's uh, that's off putting, because it should be sort of like quiet and subdued, but it's pretty fucking loud. So you're just like, okay. I'm just worried if I turn it off, we're gonna start some stuff. So, oh wait, maybe if I open this, yeah, I'm guessing if I step in there, we're gonna start something. So let's turn the radio off. Tragedy strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were four souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. A witness confirmed... They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. My witness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Oh, quick. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. There's blood on your hands. There's even blood on the altar. You're a demented maniac. Satan has prepared a place by his side just for you. He plans to make you commander of his army of demons. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. This is... Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. My witness confirms he really did murder... There's rabbits the everywhere. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message okay. for him. Okay, let's, uh, let's go we save ourselves. Here we go. You, did. you used to call them angels, Heaven but in the Father, end you killed them with a straight razor. Dark times. They were for all you know, I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. I think that might be the sign. So creepy boy is still following me. So we are accused of killing all of these kids. Or maybe just one. I don't know. It's... Some sort of pact with the devil. I don't know. This guy seems like a pretty upstanding dude so far, so I don't know. We'll, we'll unravel the mystery amnesia style. Alright. 
for some reason there's a scarf caught in the window here. I can't do anything about it. Let's read this letter. Man, this is a good looking game. I love these little indie games like this. These, you know, Cyberpunk was a bit of a disappointment. Already, I'm really enjoying this. I played another one the other day called Call of the Sea. Uh, that's If you like puzzle games, I would check that one out. That's That's a great game, great little game. I really enjoyed that. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? Sorry, guys, I'm just moving my stuff around and get my coffee cup easier. So he says, I can't live among the mortals. Or say something creepy about the kid, I'm guessing. Well, clearly. Alright, can we save? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Uh, yeah, just in case. Oh, resume. Don't quit. Not a quitter. Um, yes, alright, alright. Let's, let's resume. What's resume? Okay. In here, I suppose. Uh, it takes me right back here. Oh, you know what? That's... Never mind. But that was creepy. Why do I just keep bamboo in my... That was weird. Oh, look at this. A phonograph cylinder. You mean a Victrola cylinder? Of the mechanist variety? Here, we'll grab that one. Uh, should be a player around here. If anyone's wondering why the achievement didn't unlock for that, I did play at least this far, I think, last time I played it. But that was around Halloween. I don't really remember anything. Again, I was just playing to check performance and stuff. Ooh. What? I wanted to go into the Christmas hall. Oh. <laughs> We're not an SSD. Like, I'm so used to... Is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. Doesn't You're sound like that's me. Yet. In time you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. I was about to say, uh... Yeah, I mean, I've always been on an SSD, but it's still... Because I've been playing on Xbox mostly, which I don't have an SSD on. I'm just still so used to, like, uh, you know, having to sit at waiting screens for a couple of minutes at a time, you know. It's playing on a... primarily on PC again. It's kind of a trip, because I'm like, oh shit, I don't need to uh, wait at all. Um, actually, Cyberpunk uh, was giving me that issue, because you have to press B after it's done loading. I, I like games like that, and I don't like games like that. I'm of two minds about it. Um, but of course when you're when you're on a faster hard drive, you're just sitting there, you're just like, okay, is it done loading? Oh shit, I was supposed to press A to continue or whatever. Um, See, so yeah, I was testing settings. I had a 1060, 6 gigabyte before, uh, because what happened was, here's what happened. My buddy uh, sold me some PC, com he gave me some PC components and he sold me some PC components at a very, very competitive price. Um, and I actually, I actually ended up finding a buyer for them um, and sold some of them and I was able to use the extra, the surplus to actually buy slightly better stuff. But um, the deal was he was gonna uh, sell me his 1660 Super for about like 80 bucks. Um, and again, he was doing this to like help me out because he was sort of paying forward a kindness that someone had done to him. What happened was, um, he helped someone build their computer, so they agreed to give him their 2080 for about 80, 100 bucks um, as soon as they got a 3080. And then he was going to sell me his uh, 1660 Super for uh, 80 bucks. So once I built my PC, he's like, you know, with the with the difficulty people are having getting hold of these 3080s, I don't know if I can get you this uh, this GPU right away, man. I'm sorry. So I went on eBay and I, I got into a bidding war and I got a uh, 1066 gigabyte MSI for 
140 bucks, which for some reason is a good price now. I mean, I thought it was okay then, but for some reason, GPU prices are insane on eBay right now. I don't know what's going on. People have lost their minds and they need to chill out. But anyways, I gotta say that was a nice little card, but at first I didn't know how good it was gonna be because I heard bad things about the 1060. Now, if you have the three, two or three gigabyte model, I can possibly understand why it would be kind of limited, but the six gig model kind of gives you that extra VRAM so that you don't have to worry about filling up your VRAM. So I was honestly running Cyberpunk 2077 at high settings, not ultra, but high. Um, I did have to use a dynamic um, resolution. I think I put it down as low as like 90 or 85% minimum resolution. Um, but I was able to use a, uh, uh, use a 1060 and I was getting about 40 frames a second and down to like 28 was the lowest I got in heavily populated areas. I'm sure the performance would be even better now. Um, but I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this just to say like uh, if you notice a difference in quality of my videos from here on out it's because I just swapped the card out for the 1660 Super recently. Um, and uh, I gotta say if you're looking for a budget card, now again like I said prices are insane right now, but if you're looking for a budget card that you possibly could pick up for between 120 and 160 bucks 1066 gigabyte will still play tons of fucking stuff and i gotta say i was very impressed with that little card so anyways on to the game proper that's enough rambling of nonsense with fear of god faith love faith and love draw near I'll work on that texture buddy with fear of god faith and love draw near hmm I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Also, I can't tell if we're a Catholic priest or an Orthodox priest. I cannot tell because this looks a little bit more Eastern and it's beautiful. Alright, so I think this is probably some sort of hub world. This little hutch out here in the woods. I do like these incense burners. I just like incense in general. Um, my wife is North African and uh, we burn a lot of incense in the house and it just it always smells amazing. So, all right, let's go down the path and, and see what we can do. So this is, I guess, a, a plane of heaven, I guess, so. Yeah, that's orthodox. That's not, uh, that's not Catholic. Well, that's cool. My friend is orthodox. If I had to go with a more organized form of Christianity, I guess I might go Orthodox. There's some interesting traditions and stuff, and it's it's the oldest form as far as I know. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like their iconography and their art and mosaics. Mosaics. I was gonna. I was about to say mosaicism, and I'm like, eh, I don't. I mean, I guess it's probably a word, but that's not what I'm trying to communicate. All right, enough rambling. Let's get on with the show. An image of Christ. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest, and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. By the way, that's an icon. Again, only because I have a uh, orthodox friend. Oh, so it already filled out. Sweet. There's the achievement. See, I wasn't lying to you guys. I didn't get very far, like I said. That's why I brought up the... Ugh, I don't know. I went on for like 10 minutes about graphics cards. Uh, but it is good advice. A 1060 is a good one. But that was just to point out that, yeah, the only reason I played a little bit of this prior was to benchmark it. I wasn't sure if it would run well or not. Because I didn't... I mean, I really didn't know that much about the 1060. All right, cool. Yeah, those are called icons, by the way. Um, those images in orthodoxy was that place even real I think I'm going insane it's raining even frogs father, at least it's not raining men right recent events good evening father and Merry Christmas good evening and thank you for the invitation may God bless us all regarding these events I think we are paying for the sins we've actually never committed so you are saying been punished for someone else's sins? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. I always carry a Bible by my side. Remember the ninth commandment? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. But in this case, how can I not speak of him? So, is Father Abraham involved? 
Obviously, we are dealing with a monster. Fear the beast, for it has been unchained and is walking our very streets. This, this is the sign that the world is coming to an end. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is ahead. Be afraid, be very afraid. The beast could be in your very homes at this instant and you won't even know it. Very grim warning indeed. Now, Father, I'm a simple man. I'm not a very religious person and I do not believe everything that is written in the Bible. Are you implying that Father Abraham is a beast? A priest? Of course. But how could this be possible? Listen, firstly, you invited me here on your show in the middle of the night when I could have been at church and praying for some pitiful soul. Secondly, you haven't read the Bible, so you shouldn't speak about things you do not know. Those matters are difficult to comprehend. Such a simple mind as yours could never understand. Those are dangerous things. Lastly, I have a question for you. Who exactly do you think you are? Uh, I'm Judas Griffin. Exactly. You remind me of how Judas the Iscariot betrayed Jesus for a fistful of coins. That's exactly what you intend to do with me. Everything about your so-called midnight show is about money and ratings. Remember how Judas died? He hung himself from the tree with a rope of a dead mule. I apologize for angering you, Father. We have just a few seconds left. Do you have anything to say to our audience to calm the spirits? Stop searching for your missing children unless you're truly prepared. Satan has likely dumped them in a ditch with their throats cut. I know it sounds horrible, but this is the truth. Satan is real. He's not a shadow or an abstraction, and I'm not trying to scare you or to manipulate you as the modern people say we do. I saw Satan. I spoke to him. I was there when he was ordained into the priesthood. Satan is Father Abraham Marcus. What are you insinuating? Also, correct me if I'm wrong, he said earlier that the Ninth Commandment, do not bear false witness against your neighbor, and then he's like, but I must speak about it. If he has conviction that what he's saying is true, then it's not false witness. It doesn't say don't bear witness against your neighbor. It doesn't say, it says don't bear false witness. Don't lie about uh, people, is essentially what it's saying. So, uh, don't lie about what people have done. And, of course, this has started bleeding, as, you know, as they do, crucifixes, as they do. I don't know about you guys, but it's still pretty cozy to me. Although, it seems to be raining. Here's what I don't understand. This is, oh, yeah, I was like, there's a sound of rain. So it's raining frogs out here. I think that's one of the ten plagues of Egypt, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. These are some big-ass frogs, too. If I saw a frog this big in real life, I think I'd lose my shit. That... looks inkin. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. Or Aztec or something. This is, does not look uh, European at all, for sure. All these creepy... Uh, creepy paintings. Looks like maybe 1400s, 1500s, something like that. Okay. I want the blood and the flesh of Christ. I want the blood and the flesh of Christ. I, dude, I already read it. You don't gotta repeat yourself. We're aware of what you want. Just go to communion, I guess. It's not that hard. Oh great, this guy's back. Can't fake him out. There's a wizard there. I wonder where we're supposed to be. They might have said something about it earlier and I was focused on other things. Huh? You say something? It has a beautiful looking game. I love games like this. Uh, Layers of Fear 2 is up next, in case anyone was curious. The smell of wine. Looks like there's stuff in the glass, but it's not obeying the laws of physics.
Oh, cool. I get a goblet. And everything's just crying blood. I think there's some sort of eye infection going around here. The Roman ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. Sweet. Was there anything else that... I'm going to go see if there was something else that I could pick up that I... Because if you left-click, it puts it in your inventory. So I'm just going to make sure there's nothing else that needs to be picked up. Maybe the badger? No. No. And my drawers are full of grass, too. So that's, that's something. Oh, and tentacles. I guess Cthulhu's joined the party. Oh, cool. Nope, just grass. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. Nope, can't get in there. Some Roman stuff with an egg in there. And more grass. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it got me. It's pretty loud on my end, like through my headphones, so. It's a jump scare for sure. I'm gonna go in there later. I wanna keep exploring the creepy hall of horrors here. Not the greatest shadow, but whatever. Still looks general. I like the lighting and the mood here. I'm not going any further. There's something down there, or someone. I guess that's a sea monster. Now, I feel like I should be able to open up the the frog's mouth here, right? Blood and the flesh of Christ. But that means red wine and sacramental bread. Just about to say that's communion, right? All right, well, let's go find some bread. But that means red wine and sacramental bread. Okay, doke. Apparently, there's a mannequin orgy going on in here. A mannequin blood orgy. Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? And as I said, guys, eye infections. Take them seriously. Look what's happened to all the statues around here. You know? And just think if they had only gone to the doctor and gotten a few antibiotics, they could have saved themselves from this. It's an interesting. Is it weird that sort of makes me hungry? Like, I want to cook that side of deer or whatever it is up. That's a big-ass rabbit, too. I've actually had, had wild rabbit that I've shot. It's, well, I've had jackrabbit. It, it's disgusting. Um, I wouldn't, I actually shouldn't eat it. It's, it's riddled with worms. Okay, apparently I was married. That's what this seems to imply. I'm guessing that's her. Hmm. Sacramental bread. I even got a little uh, thing in it. Oh, I only get one piece? I was going to save some for later, but... Alright. What did I say about those eye infections, guys? Uh, this is some kind of weird mannequin orgy. She's got that Marilyn Monroe pose going on. Can't go over here. Can I? Holy water. Almost definitely gonna need this after seeing There's what we've seen here. There's a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. It is said that she was a faithful creature, visiting the church often at night to confess her sins. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Later in the night, they would speak again about sins. This time, it would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Her carnal lust knew no shame. She would plead with him to touch her sinful flesh and to feel the sweetness of her lips. Once, she told him, I want to feel the taste of the cross on my lips. I want to be part of your madness, to make liturgy of sin, to drink the blood of Christ and to eat his flesh, to bathe in his blood. To be one with him. This is blasphemy. 
me. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His oh. name was Father Abraham. Right. Hey, right. Jesus. Alexandra. I think I'm getting the eye infection now. See? Creature visiting the church I shouldn't have touched anything. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Uh, I gotta look for something to Later help me. Later in the night, they would speak again about sin. Oh, here we go. Maybe. Time, no. It would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Her carnal lust knew. I don't know if you noticed, one of the radio stations is 666. This game needs a zoom key. Before I start bitching about, I really should have a zoom key. Let's just check the uh, controls. Uh, change season. Huh. I wonder if that will come into play. Okay, we're good. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? Oh. I guess the orgy's over. I'm not a fan of white Christmas trees. I'm pretty... kind of a purist when it comes to things like that. Good old green Christmas tree is fine for me. I also don't like colored lights. Well, in some instances I do, but... She always had a peculiar passion about the church, and about me, especially me. Don't see any reason why you should feel bad, especially in orthodoxy. Uh, may God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Um, I think orthodox priests can marry, but don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure. Well, let's go do that. Love, the creator of all things is no more. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God I'm so glad that we uh, are getting into the Christmas spirit here on this channel. This game. Ah, alright. Don't want to be rude. Let's answer the phone. not really a puzzle game because I didn't even have to like think about combining the items you just have to pick them up and bring them so we'll see maybe there are gonna be more puzzles later great we fed the Kraken I think you guys need to get your gravity fixed. This is a beautiful game, like I said. God is dead. Reality is just about the material world. 
Nominem tum dispecerem denegamus nostrum ogiri origium. I don't speak Latin, so I don't know what that says. Although I wish they started teaching Latin in schools again, too. I think especially for uh, a lot of European languages, it really helps you have a base, you know, to easily learn them. That's why they're called Romance languages, you know, because they're based on Roman speech, Roman, Romance, um, you know. Great, I set the table. Waffles. Delicious cakes. Champagne. Um, that's a pretty nice spread. And that is a giant turkey. Once again, if I saw... Well, I guess turkeys are just big. Do you remember how we met? Six years ago, at an exhibition of paintings depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not describe. I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love. But I never thought you would put your love for God above me. I still love you. It doesn't matter anymore. So I guess we didn't uh, end up getting with that lady after all. Oh, that's locked. Something in there. Let's check it. Yeah, I saw the ghost, guys. I just I want to explore some other stuff first. Well, I see loaves and I see fishes. Hmm. <laughs> So it looks like quite a bit of onions. Making a fish stew of some kind. That sounds good actually right now. There we go. Another one. Pan fried fish sounds good. Or grilled over an open fire. That sounds good as well. I bet this kitchen smells amazing with those real uh, wood-fired ovens like that. My wife wants a sort of oven area kitchen space like that. <clears throat> it is a sheep lamenting the death of a lamb surrounded by crows. Wonder where they found. I wonder if they actually found someone to paint this for that or they just found that picture on like DeviantArt or something like that or if it's an actual famous painting I'm curious it looks like I'm bitch slapping that little kid well it's a game about a dark past I'm I probably did Once again, you know, because it's Christmas. Wanted to get us in the Christmas spirit. All right. Okay, where are you going? It's probably a racing side quest. I already lost, you know. I didn't beat him to the finish line. Oh, once again. This game uh, loads pretty quick. David, if you don't show yourself... The entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. 
But it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? Well, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I can walk on water. Can I walk over? Nope, just over here. Whose head is that? Is Jesus holding his own head in a bowl? Or No, that's an angel holding maybe Jesus' head in a bowl. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Ground texture's not bad. Like I said, it's a good looking game. There appears to be a sheep over there. Big stump right there. These look like Tibetan prayer flags. I wonder if they are. That would be kind of interesting. Or maybe there's something similar in uh, Orthodoxy. Gorgeous game. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Hmm. It appears to be an Eastern European language. Go towards the heavens and lay beside the Creator. It is from the Lamentations of Christ. Long is the way and hard that out of hell leads up to light. Have I really lost my soul? Those icons look exactly like the floating ones from the shore. Take those. Oh, I can probably use this to make a bridge to go see the lamb. Looks like I can get up there too. The Cerberus looking stump thing. And the prayer flags. And this spiral of fire. And a metal pipe. Eternal wisdom. It means the love of God. Of course, we are blind. Though seeing, we do not see. Though hearing, we do not hear. In thy light, we see the light. Okay. Anastasis. In Greek, it means resurrection. Try and get up here. Were it possible, it is. Oh, this blasted steam. Okay, I gotta turn off the steam. There's a door. That's the flower, I believe. And here is something on the shore. Nice, look at that. Walking on paintings, as you do. Is that a wolf or oh, it's a little sheep or a lamb or something? Okay, it's a little hard to I wonder if it matters if I need to turn it all the way to one side. Alright, well, I wonder if that will turn off the steam. We'll see. Where the hell did it go? I can try and follow it, I guess. Nope, can't. Alright. I don't know if that turned off the steam or what. Nope, can't go that way. Alright, let's go back across the lake. Oh, there's a dude waiting for me. David? Is that you? No, he's Alexander. Who is Alexander? He's my brother. I don't want to speak about him right now. Some memories bring back pain. Well, I was going up here anyways, Alexander, but okay. I guess I did turn off the steam. Great! Archangel Raphael. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't see that before. That's a pretty statue. The owl freaks out every time I see it. Like I said, gorgeous game. May not be the most technically impressive graphics, but they aesthetically they all kind of gel together and it's a good looking game. Well, let's try and bring this flower back to life, shall we? There's something missing here. The stranger broke the flow of the holy tears. He was in ignorance. He ran from truth, but he fell into a dark sleep. He took the missing element with him. He's buried somewhere around. Maybe over here? Okay. Nope, not over here. Hmm. It appears to be the tomb of the ignorant man David was telling me about. I guess this guy wanted to have some physics in his game. Did I just assume his gender? I guess so. It's probably a team of people. What am I talking about? There we go. Nice. Oh, there's his bones. Look at that. I can't believe we didn't see this before. Well, that's cool. Sometimes I like these sort of like puzzly. Uh, it's good that there's like a few puzzles in these walking sim type games, but I just like looking at something beautiful, you know, absorbing a story, um, solving some puzzles. I'm totally down for stuff like this, but when it's just walking. And when the, it's an allegory for alcoholism or something, then I tune out, because that's been done to death. I have no idea how to solve this bit. Oh, there's uh, symbols from all faiths. Those might actually be Tibetan prayer flags. I don't know what this is. There's an Egyptian Ankh. All-seeing eye. This looks like Sanskrit, Star of David. Pagan stuff. Orthodoxy. I don't know what the heart is for. Oh, I see. Duh. Um, I would say a winter night. There we go. It's just the picture that's really on there. Like that was stupid. Types of games with you. You're a bit boring as all the adults, but you will get used to it in time. Yet I don't understand. I think there was something written up there too, or on the on the things. I don't know why it took me so long to find it. Just a tear is all she wanted. Okay, well, I got everything I think I needed from here, so. It's locked. 
sleeps under a mirror, bed full of blood. This is not looking good. It's Jesus. I can't open this, I guess. This is madness. I can't even see my reflection in the mirror. It must be a vampire. Be real? Who knows? Only those children that you've killed. I don't know what that says. Veni, Veni, Astatorum, Daemonum, Dominus, something. It is a pretty dope book. I agree. We both know that I am not guilty. We'll see about that. Okay. All right. Well, let's go unlock the cross. Possibly turn it right side up, I don't know. The game's gonna want us to do. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be dealing with more than an eye infection here. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Alright, let's deal with the medical emergency instead of dicking around. Oh, God. Do I really have to remake these things? Oh yeah, I exercised uh, a demon, I guess. I must get my rosary and my stole, the Roman ritual, and the holy water. Well, I have everything but the stall. Okay. Also, we have another phonograph uh, that we're going to go listen to. Uh, the Victrola cylinder that we're going to go listen to. Also, can I get in here? Yes, I can. Very nice. This is a little... What are these called? Solarium? Yeah, I think it's a solarium. Nefertiti or something. A woman's rage. That can't be good. I think my stall's in my room, but we're going to listen to these two uh, recordings first. We're going to see. We're about to be out of puzzle items. Oh, no. I love you in my own way. Unfortunately, we will never be able to marry. As a priest, I'm forbidden to do that. I swore an oath. Even so, though I should not... I still love you. God, what a deadly sin. Nevertheless, it is good that we do not live together anymore. But that is not enough. We shall never see each other again. We cannot live in sin anymore. Stop visiting me at night under the pretext of confessing your sins. It is a torment of the body and soul. People talk. Everything has to stop. Goodbye, Alexandra. I hate you. But consider my hatred to be a strange kind of love that can't find a way of expressing itself other than this. God damn, I hate you? Jesus. I guess he never heard of Letter Down Easy. You dare to say we shall never see each other again. It is inhuman. Listen to me, Abraham. I do not care if you're a priest an angel or a devil. I want to bear your child. It may seem crazy to you, but it makes perfect sense to me. You can't leave me with nothing. If you do, I'll tell everyone about your past. The diabolical rituals, the orgies, everything. No one will believe you came back to God. Oh, Give me Jesus. the child I want, and I swear I will leave England forever. A 
I do not deserve to be abandoned with nothing like one of the children at the orphanage. A few kisses you call a sin, considering the depraved life you led before becoming a priest. Fate has messed with your mind. Give me a child, or I'll ruin you. God damn. Once again, you know, for Christmas. Oy, oy, oy. These people are messed up. So I guess they were insinuating that I took part in weird blood orgies and satanic rituals before, or something. Before becoming a priest. You will find me here. Near the telephone. There's like a painting or something and two chairs. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go look for the stall real quick. Nope. Wait, isn't this? No. Too much. It's too loud. Well, I guess we'll just have to keep looking around for it. Oh, there we go. Jesus, that's a lot of blood. Okay. My stole. There we go. Okay, now we can do the thing. All right. Power of Christ, compulsion, you know, you know the deal. Prayer to Michael the Archangel, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come to the assistance of Jesus, you see the little spiders everywhere? God damn. Who oh, he God. At a great price from the oh, tyranny of the devil. God. The Holy Church venerates you as her guardian and protector. To you, the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray, therefore, for the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the church. Offer our prayers to the Most High. Without delay, they may draw his mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Thankfully, that's over. That was awful. Uh, okay, how do I get out of here now? There's something in the oven. I don't know if it's an oven, it's more like a furnace, but Oh thou who art fire and burnest the unworthy, scorch me. Uh oh. I wonder what the code is. You don't have to keep holding on to it, you idiot. You could just drop it. Did I just burn my tongue? This pain is unbearable. No. <laughs> I refuse. Well, there's nothing else for it. All right, fuck it. You, the demented maniac, should not hold such a great artifact. 
Don't you know that wounded hearts cannot hold such poison? Do not forsake me, my lord. In thy light I shall see the light. <sighs> Once again, I keep forgetting there's no load times really. Impressive. A music box in the shape of a heart. This is indeed a great artifact. I must have forgotten it that night when I left the house. Be very careful. You are responsible for what you found. Why does this place look so familiar to me? Something tells me that the innocent and the beautiful sleep here. So we gotta find two icons. Who is lifeless and not these poor souls buried here. Alright, real quick guys, I'm gonna save. Because uh, I'm actually gonna have to pause the recording. You shouldn't notice anything on your end if it works properly, but it didn't work the last time I tried it. So we're gonna go ahead and pause it. Okay, well, the pause feature didn't really work out as I had hoped. Um, uh, what happened was I was doing something else and accidentally hit record, so I'm not sure if I'm just going to upload that as part one or it, it should be sh a short enough game that I can... Um, I think I'll just splice these together, but it, it's honestly better if I can get it in a one-off because then you know I don't have to worry about rendering... That's the annoying thing about video editing is uh, if all you want to do is clip off like five seconds here or there, you pretty much have to re-render the entire video. Um, yeah, you pretty much have to re-render the entire video and it's kind of fucking annoying because it, now that I've got a better computer, it's not as big of a deal because it takes about a quarter to a third of the length of the video, but still, I mean, I'm just trying to modify a file slightly, um, but you have to re-render the whole damn thing, which is a pain in the ass. Anyways, back to the game. Just going to make sure we are recording. Yeah, recording looks good. Uh, so I do like the pause feature, it's just uh, I screwed it up this time. Back to our Christmas themed game. Real events in real places. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I should read this out. The story of this game is inspired by real events in real places. I need to rest now. I've seen rather dark things in my short life. Do not ask. Do not ask. Something should be never spoken in a cemetery. Okay. I wonder what country this is supposed to be in. Um, you're always in a hurry. Watch the sky. See? I don't know if that just popped up, the vine right there. Or if it was... I think it was always there. But uh, it is cool to look at the snow, I guess. Are we going to read... There's quite a few graves here. I don't know if I'm going to read them all. Yeah, that's that's a lot of graves. I don't think I'm going to read them all. You may never understand. Really great uh, snow, like walking through snow sound effects. Oh, okay, so a lot of these are repeated. Uh, I can't read that one, there's too many vines over it. Yeah, okay, I think there's just a handful, never mind. Listen, listen, my dearest mother, if you don't stop crying, you'll make an angel sad. 
Do you want to make me sad? I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Wow. My mother was a witch who had made a pact with Lucifer selling my soul. Well, that's wonderful. Idiots, they ate all the food. I died of hunger. Not a painful death, though. P.S. I'm afraid of maggots. Yeesh. And this is a children's cemetery, too. Let's uh, just keep that in mind. This is pretty heavy. The coldness of your heart is desecrating the beauty of this place. Go away. Leave. Please leave. Dad, will you take care of... Azarel? Please, he is a good dog. And don't forget... Uh, to let him sleep in the barn when the winter comes. The universe is eternal. eternal. No, God is eternal, for he transcends the mortal realms. He who grasps the truth of the mental nature of the universe uh, is well advanced on the path to mastery. Yeah, that's not English. I guess this is spring again. There was something frozen over on one of the graves. Let's go check it out. Oh, is this one? You may never understand. Yeah, this was frozen over. There's nothing in it. Or it was this one. Yeah, there's nothing in it. That was clever, though. So I guess it just changes between spring and um, winter. Well, let's go back to uh, winter, since it's Christmas. Barefoot in the cold. I guess I picked up a picture frame. Okay, so... Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was like, what was I? I had something in mind. Yeah, we saw a sheep over here, or a lamb, and it led us to something special last time. Or it's a deer, it's not a lamb, that's a deer. You can tell them from the desert, guys. I mean, these forest animals that just don't know what they are. Come on. Let's move. This game needs a jump button. Okay, I guess there's no significance to that, then. Gate's still closed. Let's go see if the gate over here is still closed. Liking this music, too. I am the countenance of your unspoken praise, though I bear the wounds of sins. A 
think I can get around this. And there we go. Well, okay. Well, we know that's closed anyways. But let's stay in winter. I mean, it seems pretty. Oh, there, the kid ran this way. Let's go follow him. The kids seem to take us places we need to go. Oh, I have to turn them into angels, I guess. Okay, so I still have one left. Let's follow the kid. Okay. Is it this one? Let's switch back and see if... Uh... Well, he's still there in the spring. All right, we'll follow him again. Where are we going this time? I don't know if there's something else we're supposed to do here. Oh yeah, there we go. I can. Don't cry, woman. The children are now in the embrace of heaven. Okay, we got one of the icons. I remember there was two here. That's probably a good thing, right? There's a lot of deer now. Let's go up to the church. If if that's all in the grave. I kind of want to switch back to winter because, you know, it's a Christmas game. So we'll keep it at winter. Tell you a story. That's Peter and the Once Wolf, I think. Upon a time, there were two great warriors, a shepherd and a little prince fighting against an unjust king. The two warriors reached the gates of the city and called out their enemy, the king. He cowardly hid behind two of his archers. It so happened that some of their arrows were dipped in poison. One of those arrows hit the little prince. Okay, we got all the icons here. That's a good thing. I wonder if that has... It probably has something to do with the ending. Like, if you don't get all the icons, bad ending or something to that effect. But we'll see. So I'm just checking recording again. Looking good. Okay, so... I'm wondering why the river isn't frozen over. Also, I wonder if the car is in a different state in the spring. Nope, it's still crashed. There's a little footbridge here. Yeah, I'm a total sucker for games like this. I just think they're great. They can be a little pricey, which is one of the reasons I like... Uh, Xbox Game Pass because ooh, what's this there was a warm blood in his fragile body but then he was uh, corrupted by poison his lungs desperately gasped for air if only a soft breeze of, if only for a soft breeze of it his mind was the only thing left that was kept safe then he started shedding tears some say that his crying echoed more than a thousand tolling bells warm blood poison air thousand tolling bells There was warm blood in his fragile body, but then it was corrupted by poison. 
His lungs desperately gasped for air, if only for a soft breeze of it. His mind was the only thing that was kept safe. Then he started shedding tears. Some say his crying echoed more than a thousand tolling bells. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and change the season again. I love being uh, echoed. What is it? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, thank you too, game. I think you're pretty dope too. All right, so we can get into here through there. We just got to go get a key, so. <clears throat> ah, okay. Like I said, I'm going to keep it in winter uh, whenever I can. Oh, wait. Uh, can I not go up to... I was like... Yeah, of course I can. I was like, why can't I go up to... That looks like something awesome to explore. Alright. Only the one that can crush a demon and bring it as a burnt offering for the architect of the worlds. A demon as a sacrifice. Where could I possibly find one? I guess it's time for you to meet my brother, Alexander, the little prince, as everyone calls him. He has a special trap that will help you on your journey. He lives in a small house on top of a hill somewhere around here. You never told me you had a brother. You never listened. I guess this is the royal nose picking wand that we're going to take. Um. Is there, no, nothing we can do here. So. Can't go in here. Guess we're going to try changing seasons again. Music's reminding me of Skyrim's uh, soundtrack just a wee bit. Maybe the nose picking wand opens that lock, although I doubt it. Seems more like a key would fit in there, but. Uh... Nope, 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 nope. Nothing I can put here. Well, damn. Once again, really great looking uh, details and stuff like that in this game. This church looks uh, absolutely gorgeous. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, change the seasons back. Let's go see if we can open up that gate somehow. Yep, I was right. The royal nose picking wand somehow opened that. Okay, uh, that's a pair of lungs with tubes hooked up to it. 
Breath I know love. Some hearts in this sink thing here. I breathe, I know, I love you. Okay. Okay. Um. There we go. Oh wait, I grabbed the wrong thing, sorry. I didn't mean to grab that one. There we go. Oh God, I always asked myself. Why God allowed children to die? Don't be sad. You must be brave now. <sighs> Some coffee. Do not linger like this. You must journey forth. Be brave. Evening, Father Abraham. Are you there? If you are hearing this message, then please go outside. It appears that someone has a surprise for you. You can find it next to the fountain in the churchyard. I suppose Satan has baked some special biscuits for you. Wait, wait, Father. If there really are biscuits, don't forget to share them with those hungry children from the orphanage. That is, if there's anyone left you haven't killed yet. But I fear the worst. Eesh. Well, we're good here, I believe. Okay. Should be able to get out of this room now, yeah. They said something about a fountain in the churchyard, but I don't think I can get to the churchyard. I'm still inside this mansion or whatever. Okay. This was the orgy room, yeah. Okay. And we've been downstairs and explored a bit. We have, uh, I guess, I don't know, that's the bear trap uh, crown thing, whatever that is in our in inventory. Um, I just want to see if there's anything in here. Man, I wish I had a real fire going right now. That would be so nice. I love fireplaces and sitting by the fire and reading and just maybe a glass of bourbon or whiskey or something. But, uh, alright. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. Grass again. Ah, there we go. Churchyard. We already went in here, if I'm not mistaken, and got everything. There was just another cylinder, and, well, nothing. At least it's not grass again. Grass, uh, nothing's better than grass. Not to say that 
there is nothing that is better than grass, but it, it is to say that finding nothing is better than finding grass. All right, loaves and fishes room. Let's let's venture out here. This is the first snow I've seen in years. It makes me feel oddly comfortable. Alrighty then. This is the edge of the mountain or whatever that we're on. It's weird that he hasn't seen snow in years. Huh. This is the red string that's hanging outside the window of my study. If, the guy, if this guy really is a priest and that's his house, he's got a pretty nice fucking house. I was about to say, this looks like a hearse, right? No, it's a carriage. That's probably a good thing. Black Tower Church. Is this supposed to be a church? It sure doesn't look like one. This, this isn't snow. What is this? Well, I guess this guy's never played Silent Hill because uh, I think we all know what this really is. Does anyone get the feeling we're about to uh, find a crematorium or something? The fuck is I guess we live at the base of Pompeii. Nobody told this guy to watch out for that kind of stuff. Who's this guy? Please, can you open the gates, mister? Uh, mister, can you What's going on here? They're acting like I wouldn't be here. Okay, fires out. Oh, and the boy's gone, of course. Sick Transit Gloria Mundi. I really wish I spoke Latin right now. Definitely an unsettling voice. I think that rabbit is insinuating certain things about me. Well, I'm gonna go this way. Because I don't have to do what this game wants me to do. I don't have to do what it tells me. Those lions look the way your dog does when you go, Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in there. Ah, oh, we're outside of my cozy mansion. That's less than ideal. You can get, keep talking at me, rabbit. There's that eye infection again. Strange that the demon is a rabbit. Oh, I guess we're gonna put him in. We're gonna trap the rabbit. I was right, it is a trap. Thou 
that I have the demon, I can finally enter the church. Oh, I see. Okay. Makes a little bit more sense now. Kind of a disturbing thought that unbaptized children would go straight to hell. Um, yeah, that doesn't sound so. Uh, that doesn't sound so hot. That's a little fucked up. And that they become demons that torment people. That's even worse. And we're gonna I put that. I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. game is fucking beautiful. I'm gonna take that. That had some sort of valve on it. This is the laboratory, I guess. Shard of life. Essence of the earth. This tree works miracles when it's fed... When it's feed with the... Yeah, I don't know if a uh, native English speaker made this game. I don't know. When it's fed with the rarest mineral, perhaps even though you'd see it working life-giving miracles, you still not, you'll still not believe in what lies behind your eyes. Okay, we aligned those pipes. Uh, do not make the mistake of supposing that the little world you see around you, the Earth, which is a mere grain of dust in the universe, is the universe itself. There are millions upon millions of such worlds, and greater, and there are millions and millions of such universes in existence within the infinite Logos. Alright. Whatever you say. Does that say Eucharistic Tears? We must keep all the precious components in a sacred container. Hydrogen. We follow the ways of wolves, the habits of tigers, or rather, we are worse than they. To them, nature has assigned that they should be thus, to f thus fed, while well, God has honored us with rational speech and a sense of e equity, and yet we are become worse than the wild beast. Can't argue with that, I guess. Those so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. Oh, I see. Okay, I got the Eucharistic tears. I wish the puzzles were a little bit more complicated in this game. Crystal seems to be alive. That's pretty cool. It's weird that it's like burning through to the other side. Strange. I wonder if that's going to be... It seems that the doors are being held shut by some mystical force. What does it profit a man uh, to gain the whole world, yet forfeit his soul? Or what can a man, a man give in exchange for his soul? Okay. What does it profit a man who... Oh, okay, we did that one. Create in me a pyre, heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Very truly, I tell you, a time is coming, and now has come, when the dead will f hear the voice of the Son of God, and who, and those who hear will live. Okay. 
Okay. And what's this? More religious paintings. Let's go up to this. Okay, the key that opens your heart. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Whomsoever wishes to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears, essence of earth, and tincture of the sun. Then they must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor. Elder Joseph, he seems to be an alchemist of sorts. The most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched. They are felt with the heart. I am sad because you don't understand this. You see, this is how I choose to tell my story. You live in your sphere's narrowness, and luck rules over you. But in my steady world, I feel eternal, cold, and true. Some sort of lens. Okay, we'll take that. Close that back up. Essence of the sun. We bring down upon us the light of our God by using four lenses. One for hope, love, gratitude, and faith. All right, well. That's just three lenses. <clears throat> Would you look at that? I guess we're extracting the essence of the sun here. This must be the tincture of the sun. Yeah, I think they got some of their writing a little mixed up. Because it said tincture over there, and then essence here, and then tincture uh, verbally. Looks like we're going to bring this back to life. Okay, so... Essence of the earth. The tree works miracles when it's fed with the rarest mineral. Perhaps even though you'd see it working life-giving miracles, you'd still not believe. Okay, yeah, we already read that part. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to put the mineral in there grind it up a bit and What a peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. This kid's got a thing for flowers. Found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time. Okay, let's go grab this bad boy right here. This must be the essence. Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Okay. Outside, you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. I think loving the winter, winter really depends on what period of history you're in. Uh, winters in most of human history were pretty goddamn rough. I mean, people like winter now, but oh, I guess I'm Santa Claus. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Okay, is this is supposed to be Who Jesus, I? who's, who's I narrating stuff. Father. We will be at your side. Until the end of times. So maybe it's God that's talking to me. Maybe it's the father of the 
boy that's dead. Maybe it's Elder Joseph. I have no idea. But we're going to figure it out. I wonder what engine they made this game in. I'm guessing... I'm guessing Unity. But it runs pretty well and it looks pretty good for a Unity game, so... Domine Aqua... I'm not even going to attempt it. Yeah, this is all Latin, so... That definitely looks like an Orthodox priest. I'm reminded of the... Uh, uh, was that Seinfeld episode? George is like, uh, he wants to convert to Latvian Orthodox for his uh, girlfriend. And the priests ask him, why do you want to convert to Orthodoxy? And he's like, the hats, mainly. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, once again in Latin. Okay, something over here. My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why? Because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. May God bless you. I have to look up if they were actual uh, orthodox alchemists. Um, I guess this is the dude, or is it supposed to be a priest or god? Or I have no idea. But I'm guessing it's supposed to be a priest. We still have matches, I think, so... We're gonna go ahead and... We need something to put it in once we have it, right? We don't have anything else in our... Oh, you put it in the key box. This is it. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, I'm afraid the truth could either elevate me to the grace of God, or destroy my very being. Alright, we got the key. Let's head on back. I think it needs to be winter for us to use the sleigh, almost definitely. And I'm right, I'm correct, yes. Like I said, the graphics are not, in a, from a technical sense, very impressive. Though they do look good, but it's very good-looking, aesthetically pleasing graphics. So, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Just as a visual treat. And it has sort of a weird, sort of dark, interesting tone. It's just cool. It's a cool game. Highly recommend it, you guys. So we got Peter, Helena, Elijah, Ruth, Felix, Mary, and Sarah. You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cool and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put them to rest. Mm. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. It will help you when you have to face death. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? Sounds like pagan bullshit to me. I should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. 
years ago, I travelled to Transylvania. There the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then they would drive a wooden stake through its heart. Others would perform even more terrifying acts. Some would burn the corpses and would make coffee from their ashes. But why am I pondering upon matters such as these when God is nonetheless beside me? I shall play by his rules, for I am no witch doctor. I'm kind of curious if it is a uh, vampire story. Now I can clearly see David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew? such an early age. He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage. He would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness. Sounds like you really dropped the ball there then. He exercised his holiness. Library. Could be the door up there. Although I don't have a key in my inventory. But some of these doors have just unlocked on their own, so... We'll try that. Actually, that seems more like a balcony, but we'll see. I don't know. Nope. This is my study. I don't remember seeing any books in here. Yep, nothing. Alright, well, let's go look around a little bit. Hmm. Another part of the solarium. I mean, we've been to all these rooms already, so I don't think we're gonna find anything new here. This is not a library. This is the orgy rumpus room, and uh, this is the exorcism room. Okay. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. I've got nothing in my inventory, too. That's a little disconcerting. Okay. Did I miss any... I didn't miss any doors down here, I don't think. Oh, that could be... Duh, church library. Okay, there we go. And if gals. The creepy doll. Locusts? How many plagues have we seen? We've seen the frogs. Possibly death of the firstborn. We got eight more to end this, so, you know, possibly seven more to go. It's a little creepy. Eastern rituals, science and mysticism. Occultism, witchcraft. Just, I just, death of God. Oh, he seems to be a fan of uh, Friedrich Nietzsche. History. I guess I have to find some sort of locust repellent. There we go.
uh, Gnosticism, Esotericism, History, Oh yeah, I should light all these up if I can. Get all these damn locusts out of here. Yeah, I just love all the like the detail in these like little uh, rooms and environments and stuff. It just looks amazing. Kind of like layers of fear. Like just walking around the environment is half the enjoyment because it's just so pretty to look at and it's such a nice atmosphere to to you know um, inhabit. The only thing I kept after I renounced the darkness of my thoughts and converted, I'm not sure why, but it makes me think of my earlier beliefs and how I've changed, as though there were two of us in one body, a pure and an evil side. Now I'm curious, like, his specific belief system before he converted and uh, how depraved things got. The eye infection has spread downstairs. Things are, it's really getting serious, guys. So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad. You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my savior. Do you hear me? I guess I'm from London. Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of the cop? I knew I couldn't be guilty. Well, game's not over yet, buddy. Station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. I feel like this is important. All right, I'll call the radio station. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus from St. Mary's. Good heavens, the killer priest, the child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue. You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Father, Father please, listen. We don't care if you killed them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him? Hmm? Please do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. The ritual book, where is it? Perhaps they're insinuating David's still alive? I don't know. Go. Tribal rights? Me? History, cultism, witchcraft, Eastern rich, maybe. I think they have enough backup copies of this book, though, you know. And I, I, I wonder how in demand and popular it is that they need to keep so many copies on hand. Is that the book? No. Oh, it's in there. One night, when the northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat of a lamb. 
a memory I am ashamed of now. Okay. Well, they did say that the book was going to be in the library, so unless I find some sort of, like... Yeah, there we go. I knew. I knew. Okay. You don't scare me. Do you understand? I'm on your object. What harm could I bring? You know where you can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood back. On this shelf, right here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you. Buddy, I think you're going to need to see a chiropractor after that. It's really bad for your spine and neck. The key is... Down. On the table. What table? I guess those aren't technically tables. We'll go back this way. Huh? Hey? Eh? There we go. On the glass case. Probably the one with the creepy doll, right? Nope. Uh, oh, there we go. Guess that wasn't it either. In your hand. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant like holding in your hand. Well, this guy seems to be a bit literal. So that's where I put it. <clears throat> I had forgotten. The book David told me about. Now, I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open. Oh, we were just there. I don't know what you're... That seems like a bit of a... Continuity error. We've clearly been there. Okay, now we're at a new place, and um, there are three icons to find, which means we only got one more after that, which is pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and do it. Welcome. This place was my home for a long time. We are holding a tea party on the nearby island. We can't start until everyone is present. My brother Alexander was left behind locked inside his bedroom. Can you open the doors and call him? Of course. All right. Well, let's get to work finding these icons first. I'm guessing one is in this well. Whoa! Whoa! Back the fuck up! Oh, Jesus. All right, get away from me. Oh, God, not you two. Oh. Maybe if I put us into winter, uh, everyone will go away and leave me alone. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick in case we miss finding all of them in this, uh, section. Because I do want to get them all. I've got to collect them all. They're like Pokemon, really. I wonder if that's the island they're going to.
Aha! We found one. St. Andrew. Alright, what else can we grab? Also, just got the paranoia bug. We are still recording. Great. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out during winter. Keep the Christmassy themes up. Maybe I can freeze all the children and stop them from freaking me out and following me everywhere. Hey. It's like we can see into the house. Well, we could in the last place. Yeah, it didn't really mean anything. It appears as if I've rid myself of the children in winter time. That's a good thing. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to interact with this. Probably have to wait till I can get something. I need an item or something. Check this boat out just in case. Aha! Second. Archangel Gabriel. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Two out of three. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to spring in case that boat had one in it, but I'm guessing it's probably in or around the house. Kind of curious. Uh, I don't think it made a difference. I think we can go in here regardless. Yeah. She just did a backflip. That was pretty sweet. These kids have moves. Let's see if there's anything in here in winter. Not quite. Okay. All right, little crucified doll here, you know, as you do. Yeah, you got to turn her the right right way around. <laughs> Can't crucify someone face first onto the cross. That's just cruel. Oh my God. And this unusual, I might add. It's alive. All grown-ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. Two dolls. Picnic basket. Fresh roasted doll, just like Mama used to make. Today, something special happened. A woman and her husband came to the orphanage, looking to adopt a child. 
She was very beautiful, with long, dark hair, and he was tall and charming. They both looked like wealthy people. The monks gave them David, the wisest child in the orphanage. Sometimes he seemed to surpass our knowledge. So with all this, oh, I mean, this guy's really into chemistry. That's a cool effect where you can see them through the window, um, but they're not really there. There we go, there's another doll. so happy here. I would never live this place. I am always playing with the other children. Yesterday we found a new magic formula that can change the color of the flowers. I love you, Mom. Okay. Dealing in the black arts. Thank you for visiting me every week and bringing me apple pies. Alexander is not feeling well these days, but he will regain his strength. Today we discovered a new formula that can bring back to life any dead flowers. Can you believe it? I love you, Mom. Okay, so they discovered a new formula to bring back dead flowers. I'm guessing it has something to do with this you syringe. This isn't funny. It's just a game. Go ahead. Yep. No. Ah. Why did I inject myself? I should have injected the kid. It seems you're beginning to understand. It was just another test. Now you need to find seven toys and bring them to me. In exchange, I will give you the names of the seven children you need to find. The dolls are all scattered inside the house. All right, well I have uh, six dolls. Guess I need one more. Oh, there we go. All right, before I pick that up, I'm going to try and find the last icon. I'm a little irked I haven't found it yet. Um, and I'm worried that the story will progress and we'll lose our opportunity to find it. So that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go find the last icon so we have them all. Because then there's only one after that in the probably second to last part of the game. Or whatever. In here. Typically, they're near landmarks. I've noticed that. I haven't found any landmarks outside of the few that I've already explored, so. I don't think it's down here anywhere. Um. There is a church or house or something over there. I don't know if that's relevant. I don't know if I can even get there, but... Uh... Nah, it doesn't look like we can go out on the branches there. I think the only other landmark is the well. We can try it again, or I'll go back out the fence this way and see if there's something I missed. Oh, 
Could be. Let's go check it out. Yep, just one more that I didn't get here. Excuse me. Just need that last icon. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's here. I'm almost positive it's here. The witch's hut or whatever. The gypsy's hut. Nice. Okay, we got a key. And... Okay. Nothing. Well, let's change the season real quick out here. See if anything shows up. The fire... It's reminding me of the Mass Effect 3 theme. Ah! Aha! There we go. Yes. Yes! You can't fool me. Alright, we got all of the... Yeah, we would have missed that. We for sure would have missed that if I hadn't said, hey, let's go back this way. All right, let's go get the rest of the dolls. Yep. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Let's go check out the ofrenda or whatever the hell it is. I don't know what those are called, the collections of icons, if there is even anything they are called. But um, we're going to check it out and uh, just make sure we're just missing one more. Oh, my God. 100% completion. Wow. Getting dizzy. Okay. Yep. That's all but one. There's probably one more, like, mission or something. Nice. Now do I bring it here? No. I have a feeling I take him to the treehouse or something. Oh, there's a a boat, right? Okay, let's try the treehouse first. If that's not where we're supposed to go, then maybe it's the boats. Because they said they're having a tea party on the island. I'm pretty sure it's not here. Yep, okay. So let's change it back to spring. Kids are gone. Or maybe we just throw everyone in the well. I don't know. I will tell you the truth about how Alexander died. David and Alexander never had a chance to play together as children do. Years ago, before meeting you, they lived at the Little Prince Orphanage in Romania. Then there was an outbreak of cholera. All the orphans were vaccinated with only two syringes. One of those was unsterilized. 
and it happened to be the one used on poor Alexander. David was spared. We pass through time like wafted leaves in the wind. I will forever keep Alexander in my heart. Oh wow, it's like a galaxy now. Image, I am of your unutterable glory, though I bear the scars of my sins. O oh Lord who watches over children in the present life and in the world to come because of their simplicity and innocence of mind, abundantly satisfying them with a place in heaven bringing them to live in radiantly shining places where the spirits of the righteous dwell. Kind of curious how long I have to do this for. I'm just going nuts on this thing right now. I think just until they circle the coffin and then... Any day now, guys. Okay. We almost done here? So maybe it is God speaking to me. He said he's the father. He said whatever. He said he knows everything. And now he's saying we are Trinity. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay. Hmm. No idea where to go now. Maybe the cemetery? Hmm. Why did you become a priest? Because of my love for God. Okay, we're definitely supposed to be out here. You dare speak of love? What about your love for me? You don't understand. This is about something greater than myself. Leave me alone. Please. Wait, was she pregnant? She might have been. Leave me alone. She I can't tell with that dress. It's a uh, kind of billowy around the waist. Cuz we're talking about unbaptized children and the death thereof and all sorts of other stuff.
please. Uh, is it really uh, necessary narratively for him to keep saying, stop, please, don't go, where are you going, stop, please? It's moving on. Was that an observatory? Oh wait, is that the crematorium? There's a lot of smoke coming out of it. I, still don't understand. I we think lost everything, Abraham. Everything. Maybe she I just can't handle this pain any longer. Suicide. Such an incorrigibly selfish thing. I think she turned it into a crematorium. Time to meet Cthulhu. Supposed to be uh... <clears throat> well, this is definitely disturbing. I mean, I'm trying to figure out if it's supposed to be like uh, allusion to Jonah in the whale or what. Well, let's go downstairs first. Who knows what there might be? Oh no, there's a ro the row of teeth. No, it's not blocking. We can go here. Yeah, like I can read that. Let's try it this way. Did I miss another uh, phonograph recording? Shit. O oh, eternal God, who has redeemed the race of men from the captivity of the devil, deliver thy servant from all the workings of unclean spirits. Well, we got Sarah. Okay. He who composed all things well by his word from nothingness into thee. He who walks upon the wings of the air, the Lord rebukes thee, devil. Really, unbaptized children deserve all this? Jeez. 
Jesus. You know, Christmas game. We make this great divine holy invocation and plea, O devil, for thine expulsion, as well as this rebuke for your utter annihilation, Satan. Okay, there's probably another room we gotta break into. I think that that's everybody here. I don't see anyone else that we can... One, two, three, right? There's a third. It's kind of hard to tell with the diving. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, so there's only three kids in here. Oh, did I kill myself too? not fear. By transcending reality, you understand that fear is for those who see only the material world. But you, you can see more. You can see my world. Alright, so one more to get. And there's totem poles and Tibetan prayer flags. So this interesting mishmash of cultures. Unless there do exist similar things in Eastern Europe both of these but even the geology doesn't look uh, wholly uh, uh, Eastern European anymore all right so let's check it out big statue of a god or something over there I'm worried we missed stuff in that like we didn't go to the altar but I'm also worried that would have like teleported us straight out so yeah that's clearly like Buddha or something this looks like Far Cry 4. Yeah, and look at this, like a pagoda. Actually, this looks Thai or Cambodian. The problem with you is that you don't have faith. For example, do you believe with your own heart that you can raise a temple sunken hundreds of years ago from the water. Actually, I think we're talking to Yoda. Oh, one of these puzzles. Oh, I hate these. I'm always terrible at them. So that does... Fuck. Oh, I messed it up. Let's try it again. So that does all three, and then this one does just that one, and then this one does that one. Like that, and then try like that, and then try, fuck, I don't know, I'm terrible at these. I'm gonna take something else to do for a little while. It's probably gonna be the hardest damn puzzle in the game just because, uh, I know you can work it out logically, but I just don't have the patience for that most of the time. Cause you gotta sit there and be like, okay, this one does that and then blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't, I don't like doing those most of the time. I'm not feeling particularly sharp today because I did not sleep super well. But we're going to go and try and suss out where the last uh, icon is. I think it might be right there. <laughs> okay, we got all the uh, icons. Fantastic. 
now we need to get a uh, a cylinder so we can listen to. Nope, no such luck. All right. Maybe we can go over here. Nope. I didn't think we could. Yeah, it's not going to let us. Guess we got what? Summer and spring this time? Honestly, this music sounds like it's from uh, the Elder Scrolls. Maybe there's some clue. As to what order you'd press them in. So this one does all three. Or no, it just does those two. Those two. Okay. This one does just that one. This one does those two. And this one does oh, actually I'm gonna undo that. This one does just that one. Just that one. There we go. I was about to say, how did that not solve it? looks like a spaceship now good old orthodox spaceship okay so we gotta find four things to put on each of these to get to the different islands I would have well maybe not four two I guess because this bridge is already connected. Yeah, it's supposed to be like discussing, you know, religion, I guess, as a, a broad human construct or human uh, part of the human experience. Because look, there's, there's clearly Buddha or something. And then we've got uh, Egyptian gods over here. Once again, you know, this kind of mishmash, like this very surreal looking, uh, these surreal looking environments. I mean, this, this is like, I love this kind of shit. And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see right. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Alrighty. I think 
that dude needs to shave. It's enough now. Not really sure why we need the rain, but I'll take the rain. So I'm all but sure that the flags we saw in the beginning of the were prayer flags, you know. I'm going to go ahead and guess it's this one. And I'd be wrong. I think it's the other one first. I haven't found a cylinder yet. I wonder if that was just in case I didn't listen to it right there in the last chapter or what. Okay. Now I am a little bit lost. Let's try this. Hmm. Let's change it back to raining. Maybe we'll look for a rainbow. Because he said, only with the heart do you truly see. Dumped again. I don't think it was raining when we got here. No, it wasn't. So... Strange. And there's no podium for a book here. We'll try this. I don't know if we tried this one yet. Uh, I don't think we did. There we go. Nice. So glad I picked up this game. Um, and by the way, I'm hoping to get this out while the Steam sale is still going on. I mean, I don't know if this is on GOG, but uh, the GOG sale is going on quite a lot longer. It's going on until like the 6th of uh, January, 4th of January. It goes on like a while. Um, so, uh, if you're liking it, you know, check it out. Go pick it up. Support the developer. I think that they... I love these little sort of indie games like this and these developers. Oh, yeah, you know what? We can probably change season. There we go first time we're gonna need this thus far there we go I have lived a great deal among grown-ups I've seen them intimately close at hand and that hasn't much improved my opinion of them
Excellent. Like I said, the only issue is the puzzles aren't too difficult. It is more of a walking simulator in that respect. Um, but at least there are some sort of puzzles and you have to think a little bit and read some documents and stuff. It's not literally just walking from A to B. Um, and it's beautiful to look at and visually interesting, you know, and unique. It's a very different game. So all of those aspects together make it pretty awesome in my book. Okay, there seems to be an invisible... Oh, you know what? Let's put the rain on. We can probably see it. It's like that uh, scene from uh, Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark. There we go. Or not the Lost Ark. God, man. What is with my mind today? Uh, the Last Crusade. But that's not quite what happened here. But at least, you know, we figured it out here. I guess. I'm not sure I 100% agree with that. see a reflection of him. Who's your master? And why only a reflection? Mortals cannot see his splendor and live. Is this the countenance of your glory? Okay, back. All right, so we didn't miss everything here. That was just part of uh, part of what we had to do. All right, so we got those three taken care of. Let's just go ahead and save. I guess we're in hell right now, and we are uh, blessing them so that they're no longer in hell. Glory upon the clouds of heaven with his holy angels to judge the living and the dead. Maybe I, maybe he killed himself to go to hell to save the kids. Maybe that's the plot. He killed himself in order to go to hell so that he could. And what a juxtaposition from that nice valley to whatever the hell this is. Invisible, infinite in power, and incomprehensible in divinity, the King of glory and Lord Almighty, he shall rebuke the devil. Okay, five little hearts. spirits and demons to depart from the soul and body of your servant and not to remain nor hide in him ah the last one he who calls forth the water of the sea and pours it upon the face of all the earth Lord of hosts is his name. Satan, the Lord rebukes thee. 
Boom, seven hearts. I'm, I'm fading. Still didn't check out the... Well, we've got the save. We can always check it out later. I'm dead. Do not worry. There's a magic potion that can bring you back. I will help you brew it. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Do not play with death. Don't you understand that in this world there are no symbols but only hidden forms of reality? Stay in the light, play with the light, be the light, and you will survive. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and save based on that uh, ominous uh, piece of advice. It is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. I'm still struggling to figure out what's going. I mean, I've got I've got some theories, but uh, I'm still struggling to figure out what the hell's going on here. It's a nice looking ship. Okay, so they don't match up. I'm gonna have to find some sort of key. Ah, yes, here we go. Awakened alive. This is a strange ship. It was my home for hundreds of years. So we got something that looks like a key, something that looks like, I don't know what, but it's got all those curly bits on it, and something that looks like the letter F, uh, sideways, slash, and O. I think we can try that. Key, curly, FO. Keep. There we go. That's cool. Man, this game is just so awesome. There's something missing here. Let's get in this little house on the ship. It's covered in alchemical symbols and other things. David, did you steal this cross? crank here. Nothing in that drawer, nothing in that drawer. So ready for Layers of Fear 2 now. I'm also going to be playing Lost in Vivo soon. Light all the candles, place the cross above all things. Mercury, silver, sulfur, ether. Four, a red rose. Five, Mount Athos, holy cross. Six, the page from St. John Chrysotomes. Is that Chrysosom? Chrysotom's book. St. John Chrysosom's. Chrysotom's. Yeah, wow. Great pronunciation. I look like a fool. Mercury? Why keep it in such a precious container? This must be the page from St. John Chrysostom's book. Chrysostom. Let's see what it I says. I thought it was a little difficult to say. There we go. 
I like when they do the auto put together as soon as you get things in the right general vicinity. There we go. Okay. Man, I kind of miss doing jigsaw puzzles. I just love puzzle games, too, in general. Um, Quern is a good one. If you guys want something that will really stump you, Quern, Quern isn't easy. It's not terribly difficult, either, but, I mean, I don't think you're going to get through it, you know, completely without um, having one or two instances where you're like, I have no idea what's going on. So Quern is also on Steam. That's another good one. Obviously the Mist series kind of started all this. Um, so that's another good one to check out. Here we go, almost done. So let's just move this page over here, and like so. Boom. Okay, we're still missing sulfur. Um, hold on, let's check our options. Is there a way to check the inventory? Interact, stop, change season. No, I get, but again, like that's probably why the puzzles aren't super hard, because it just kind of assembles itself once you have all the elements. Probably, yeah, that's why. I was like, why the hell is there another door here? Yeah, we're gonna have to move this up and then we can get to it, most likely. For behold, thou hast love, loved true the uncertain, guys, it's the font, the uncertain and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made manifest to me. Also, the, the way in which it reads the direction that you're moving things is a little, a little wonky. All right. Nope. Nope. I want it. Okay. Uh, uh, there's probably something on the track that's got it stuck that I need to move, I would imagine, or something. Nope. I guess I'm wrong. <sighs> okay. So what's going on? Oh, here we sulfur, go. Or rather philosophical sulfur. As an alchemist would say. Philosophical sulfur. Great. Is there something here that I missed? No. Okay, now I should be able to move it the rest of the way. Probably the last ingredient stuck on this part. Oh, no, it's not. The door opened. Okay, great. time is it okay I was just feeling like really tired all of a sudden I was just like is he getting that late I don't think it's that late 
I think I'm just being a little bitch. What is this sound? The Romanian monks from the old monastery. It is a call to prayer. Eesh, that's a lot of bassinets or carriages or whatever you want to call them. De profundis clavami at te domine. Domine exodi vocamium fiant arestue intendentes invocum deprecation deprecationes mea. curious what's this way. I suppose we have to deal with the flower first. And also that uh, drumming's getting a little obnoxious. I'm not sure we can deal with the flower first. flower that lives on a star. It is sweet to look at the sky at night. All the stars are abloom with flowers. Okay. Thank God. No, 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 no. When I find that drummer, it ain't going to be pretty. Once I played on this beautiful island, one day I found a cave. I walked toward its entrance. Inside, I found the most beautiful toys and the most exquisite sweets. This is your hiding place. This is not a game anymore. All right. That's the same uh, inscription as the other one. Okay, light all the candles. I'm going to go ahead and save in case we put this up. Sovereign arbiter of all things, thou with one glance em Okay. Thou with one glance embracest all space before whom worlds pass like the leaf wafted by the winds from the height of thy eternity. Hear our vows, enlighten us with a ray of thy divine light. Okay. 
Okay. Light all the candles. Okay. Place the cross above all. Did we? Yeah, we got a cross. Mercury, sulfur, ether. Okay. Shine within my heart, loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of my mind that I may comprehend your mysteries. In you, I see the light of life. Okay. Okay. Mount Athos Holy Cross. An inferior intelligence does not easily perceive occult and abstruse subjects. Where does the page go? Oh, there we go. Make thy slave a child of light. I am alive. Can I get across to there's stuff over there? All right, well, I have the seven hearts now. So what I probably need to do is make it back to that church in the forest. It looks like the volcano is getting bigger, but it could just be me. Oh, no, it's definitely getting bigger. I don't see anything else. Fantastic. Oh, I suppose they want me to go in there. Let's do it. Come in, Father. Let's have a talk. Look at you, the child of light. We shall destroy you. My master was also a son of mine, yet he fell. David is an angel. Soon the pain will end. Hell is not temporary. Hell preserves the pain. After death you have no flesh to experience your sinful delight. No stomach to enjoy the food, no tongue to enjoy the sweet one. No body to enjoy the pleasures of your horse. Yet you crave for all those things. This is pain. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. Okay. 
Still not quite sure what the hell is going on here, and that volcano is really getting quite worrisome, but uh, let's not worry about it right this second. Let's go in here. Oh, this is a different kind of church. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. This one doesn't follow me. Huh, maybe that's a good one. Icarus wings. In vain I had at the heart to f to find the center and the end of space. Beneath some burning unknown gaze I feel my very wings unpinned. The legend says that Icarus made his wings out of rope, wax, wood, and feathers. I guess I better look around for some rope, wax, wood, and feathers, shouldn't I? It's definitely a beautiful church. Didn't find anything up here. What is this? Is uh, stairwells are a little tight, a little, a little hard to navigate. Oh, 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 oh. Alrighty then, let's just get on down here. There we go. Alright, I guess we better check out the bottom floor. Whoop, 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 whoop. Did they leave yet? Good. I was not thrilled with them. Gotta check all the pews. This is only five. Don't know what goes there yet. What goes up here? Doesn't... Hey, sorry about that, guys. The game actually crashed on me, so um, now I'm definitely going to have to. I, I had an issue earlier, and I was like, am I going to split it up into episodes, or am I going to splice it? Now I pretty much have to splice it together. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's get back to the game. Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and continue. I don't know where we're continuing from, though. That's a good question. Ugh. Really? Okay, sorry about this, guys. But I think at least we know there's not much in the church. I hope it doesn't crash again. I hope that was just because it's been on a long time and I'm like recording at the same time and it just freaked out. But I did confirm this is uh, Unreal 4. I think that's why it's a little less janky than um, most Unity games. I'm going to turn this down for myself real quick. Yeah, that, the sound is super loud and that guy's super annoying. David is an angel. Soon the pain will end. That is not temporary. Uh, I think we're pretty friggin' close to the end, so we'll see. Just a second here. Let's just get back to the church and just, quick as we can, uh, get back to where we were. I do want to check out that, that thing, uh, I guess where the... I don't know what that's for. I haven't gone to a bunch of... I don't think I've actually ever gone to a service, like Catholic or otherwise, at a church like this. And I, I'm not saying this is Catholic. I've, I've said it... I think I've mentioned a couple of times. This is clearly Orthodox, but they have similar traditions vastly different beliefs. Yeah, it crashed right here for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. 
I thought this game looked good for a Unity game. Yeah, this is Unreal 4. The room changed into a brothel. Blasphemy. Earlier, it was just a storage room for the church. And these mannequins are getting up to all sorts of nonsense in this game. All sorts of shenanigans. I like how brothels always have to have hookahs in them. In games set in this time period. And the eye infection has followed us to the brothel. I mean, it's really getting out of control. Oh, we forgot to check out the Icarus wings. We'll probably come back to the church. Hey. This is a, this is a family friendly channel here. Not really, but. I wonder what could be inside one of these. in the fuck is that? Uh, not gonna stare at that too long. Well, okay, it's official. This is a uh, alien crossover. I guess there, I mean, there would be xenomorphs in hell, wouldn't there? There would. Alright, let's get this part over with. Let's just get face hugged. What is it talking out of? I mean, we all know, but god damn. You're not real. Be gone. You're in my way. Oh yes, I'm real and I'm hungry for flesh. Bring something to eat. I wonder what YouTube's gonna say about this. I mean, what, all we can do is upload it and see. You're gonna have to put a warning on it or something. The fruits of my sin. You sure you can stand it? Why do you think I'm standing so close to the room of your sins? Is there any? Okay, I guess we're done talking to whatever that is. Oh yeah, okay, we can go down there now. I'm also going to save, so just in case I, you know, I forgot. It's like a checkpoint based game, so it's better to have a hard save just in case it crashes again. Which I did not really expect, but you never do. You know, guys, for Christmas. grabbed a fetus. This is, you know, for Christmas, guys. Got a rosary. Oh, please don't open it. All right. I cannot express my happiness in words. I remember when I was telling you that I would denigrate you in front of people. How stupid I was. The devil clouded my mind. God really exists. 
I see the grace of God each time I look him in his sweet eyes. I love you, Abraham. So they... Oh, maybe people accused me of killing the boy, but I let her adopt him in secret. And it's as if the boy disappeared. I have no idea. I hope all will be revealed. I'm, I'm curious how many achievements I've gotten. If I've gotten all of them, and I still don't understand the plot, <laughs> it's a bit uh, dense. Either that or I am. I think they're both equally likely. Of course! Some stuff upstairs to true. God would never cast us away from his face, for there was a holy man praying for our sins. Okay. I feel like there was still stuff in the church that didn't get resolved. Like, there was something I needed to put on the altar, right? Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Oh, the skull of a saint. It's the last thing we need to complete the thing. I forgot about that. Again, just gorgeous level design. Oh, that's probably what we put on the altar in the skull of the saint who saved us from God's wrath. You've done it. You banished them. I know you have a lot of unanswered questions, but words are the source of misunderstanding. So let's show you a video. Inside, there's a special toy I crafted for you, the key to our little secret. Did it? Oh, I was like, hello? Okay, I thought we weren't done with the church yet. Let's go check out the Icarus thing just in case. It's part like we need to have like messed with that before we do this next part. There we go. Icarus wings. What is this? Okay, so I guess we saved the children, but the story's not over yet I guess well we saved their souls you know what I mean get out of my way I bird see a way to open it without risking breaking it What does it say up there? I can't see. I guess we'll never know. Oh, there's another. Okay. All right, they've locked us in the church, so now it's probably time for puzzle solving. So we're gonna go back upstairs to figure out what's going on with the Icarus wings situation. Nope. Nope. Oh, now he's gone from the, oh, he's been crucified, fantastic. You know, for Christmas. Please 
Forgive me. Forgive me. Father. Oh, Father. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. There we go, wood. Wax. Feathers. This is insane. The king of the angels is decked with a crown of thorns. He who wraps the heavens in clouds is wrapped in the purple of mockery. He who freed Adam in the Jordan is slapped in the face. Rope. The bridegroom of the church is affixed to the cross of nails. Okay, don't know where the rope is. Oh, right up there with the hanging child. Lovely. There we go. All right, just about to get me some wings. Father, into your hands I can mend my soul. This is not real. What am I doing here? This is the last world we will ever visit. Goodbye, my friend. It's a funky chicken over there. I guess we're at the funeral for David, 1900. To 1911. Okay. Almost made it in time to buy a uh, a very nice pistol. Didn't quite make the cutoff. Well, I mean, I guess he did. Just probably didn't get a hold of one. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and guess. Another one of these. Okay, and we're just about to finish up this puzzle. The earth is the Lord's Poor thing. She doesn't even know who I really am. And the fullness thereof, of the world and all that dwell therein. You are dust, and to dust you will return. So hammer plus saw plus nails plus wood plus a candle equals oh plus a gravestone equals burial, I guess. So we got nails. Hammer, saw, let's get some wax. Probably need to go inside. Let's 
still have no idea what the hell's going on. Oh, wait, I think I do, actually. I'm beginning to under possibly understand. I guess we're gonna have to go find the other stuff. Uh -oh. How did I become dressed like this? Parinte, parinte, nu ne lasa. Avem nevoie de preot la mormântarea copilului nostru. Ajută ne. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the grandmama was in the way of the last few things I need. Icon. Got it. Money? Gonna grab it on my way out. Go party. Um, guess I'm missing wax. Oh no, I have wax. I'm just go check the list of stuff again. I think, I think that's it. Hammer nails, blah, 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 wood. I'm missing wood. How am I missing that? It's wood everywhere. Maybe this? Yeah. There we go. See, there are crafting mechanics in this game. As all games should have. As ordained by... I don't know, the federal government or something. That was a yoke, guys. Let us take the son to his father. Still don't really have a clear idea of what's going on. I've never done this before. I've never buried a child, let alone mine. There must be a book to help me. Still not understanding. Is it his child or not?
Good old cigar. No, I'm kidding. I think it's incense. <laughs> it kind of looked like a cigar at first, though. Just puffing a big stogie. We're gathered here to pay tribute to the memory. Hold on. I can just see that. Uh, I guess I can't pick that up yet. That, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's incense? Yeah, I've never seen it powdered like that. Christ, flesh and blood, uh, oh, purifies my heart. Man, that font. Uh, create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. that there is no greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends oh guess I cut my heart out This is a very pretty church. Okay. So, I guess we're going to put the heart back into the boy. the guy who's been God the whole game or whatever shovel plus whiskey equals a good time I guess I think it's sacramental wine
And the beat goes on. What in the fuck is going on in this game? I really wish I had some clue. Something to do with the... Uh, I mean, it's all sort of coming into focus now, I guess. I don't know. Like, obviously, it could be insinuating a number of things. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit more simpler than I'm probably, you know, thinking of. But still, not really clear. All right, let's go out to the car. It's a British car. Ugh. I thought I came here in a car. Oh well. Once again, beautiful graphics. Just want to make sure we are recording. Yeah, okay. I always get paranoid about that. Okay, so we've got alchemical symbols here. I will come down once you've called the other seven children. They want to witness this special moment. I understand now. You came to my world as light, so that no one who believes in you would stay in darkness. Okay. There are six... No. Okay, well, I found all the icons. So all the icons have been placed there. Okay, and now there's a wizard here. Okay, let's put it over to this and shoot the laser. I don't see this. Oh, it's over there. It looks like a bunch of grapes or whatever the hell that is. We want the all-seeing eye, right? And then... Oh, I don't actually see that symbol up there. Hold up. Oh, there it is. Never mind.
I'll prepare for your glorious return to where you were before your fall, heaven. For this misery you have suffered, my love for you has grown. That is why, on your return and restoration, I will give you much more than I originally gave you before the fall. Salvation. Okay. I think we're about to figure out what the hell's going on. She trying to murder? Oh, I don't know what's going on. The window. I need a rope. Is that made of gold? Okay, I got a. Shroud for a uh, rope. This seems to be the father's office. Like I said, it's a pretty dope office. A letter. I'll send it together with the key once I'm far away from here. Now there's grass in the places again. Okay, can't get out. Children are not allowed to drink coffee. I thought that looked like coffee and not tea. Okay. You can all visit me in my world whenever you want. If you come at any time, I shall never know what hour my heart is to greet you. So I'll always be ready to. Alright, so... We escaped for some reason. Don't know why. Probably gonna get hit by the car. What does that have to do with her? Did he just... Rise. I... Rise into the sky to eternity and beyond. Please, don't die. Please, my child, forgive me. Forgive me. This will be our little secret. We'll meet again one day. In my indescribable grief, deep within my tormented soul, I searched for a way to keep him with me. Okay. Like I said, it seems to be... I never wanted to know his fragile body returning to dust. I wanted to hold him in my arms for eternity. But I knew it would be impossible. I had to find a way of keeping him with me. Alright. Uh, it was then that I had the idea. Alexandra couldn't stand the sight of it. She
she killed herself in a moment of despair. I guess it was Christmas. I'm not gonna, until we have all the facts, I'm not going to, uh, uh oh. I think I know what's going on. It's a little creepy. I kept his body in a bathtub filled with ice. I'll always keep you in my heart. People have stars, but they aren't the same. For travelers, the stars are guides. For other people, they are nothing but tiny lights. But all those stars are silent stars. You, though, you'll have stars like nobody else, since I'll be laughing on one of them. For you, it'll be as if all the stars are laughing. And it'll be as if I had given you, instead of stars, a lot of tiny bells that know how to laugh. Uh, okay, so it would appear then that what happened was a poor family who either it was his idea to start an orphanage uh, or he was already working at an orphanage and the um the woman he was sort of having an affair with or had a relationship with she wanted a child and she was going to blackmail him and then david came into their lives the family had to give him up because they couldn't afford to keep him so uh they tried to adopt him and i guess he had issues with he, the the adoptive mother maybe she was a bit crazy or whatever but he decided to run away maybe back to his family or because he lived in a fantasy world, he wanted, I don't know, it wasn't super clear about that. And of course you accidentally kill him on the way home. And the reason he's preserved like a porcelain doll in the rest of the game is because, well first, he was unbaptized before his death, so that guilt weighs on you. And then second, he was a um, uh, porcelain doll because you tried to preserve the body. It gets, it gets a little convoluted, I think more than it needs to be. Um, and it didn't really tell the tail clearly i guess he came from a life of the priest came from a life of um debauchery and sex like there's too many i think the story is actually reflective of them wanting to have certain visual imagery in the game as opposed to how can we fit this in narratively in a way that you know is concise and makes sense so that's kind of my read on it that he wanted to be like, oh, I want all this, you know, sort of sexual imagery, and I want, you know, he, or whoever made the game, whatever team made it, we want all this sexual imagery, we want, you know, you have to go to hell, we want to have to do with this, we want, you know, the idea of dead children, and um, damned souls, and demons, and we want all of this stuff. Um, so I think they were like, all right, well, what can we put in the game, we have this basic story, what can we put in the game to make sure those things make sense? Um, and I think that the, you know, obviously the priest felt guilty because had he not, you know, uh, basically adopt, you know, allowed that lady to adopt the, the boy, um, or, or convince the family to give the boy up for adoption or whatever actually transpired because the game wasn't super clear about that, um, the boy would still be alive. Um, but he seemed to not... I seem to not be angry at the priest because he was going to send him a letter once. So I guess he was running, trying to run away back to his family or just run away anywhere. It wasn't clear if the lady was... It's clear that she was psycho because she was going to, like, blackmail the priest for not... If, if he, he didn't give her a son or whatever, but... Or a child, but... Um, we don't know if she was abusing the boy or not. Um, or maybe the priest was abusing the boy because there was that picture we saw in the... In the... Uh, Oh, you know what? It's because uh, maybe the boy was had like a touch of divinity or something in him, and 
um, the priest was exercising demons from the boy's body, and so the, the kid felt like it was torture. I don't really know. Like I said, I think rather than creating a concise story um, that makes sense in the end or is easily decipherable when it has a very sort of poignant ending, I think they just really wanted... They wanted the imagery of, like, you know, a child, you know, writhing around on a bed and, and convulsing and speaking in tongues. They wanted, they wanted all this iconography and imagery... Um, to make the game visually interesting and appealing and, and have some shock value to it. But I don't think it really worked in service of the story because ultimately it's just about a priest's guilt over accidentally running over a boy because of a situation that he put the boy in. Um, that's kind of it. Um, and then, of course, it's it has sort of a, a Christian message, I guess, in that the priest feels that he's being saved. I didn't understand the trading his heart for the child... Um, and I didn't really understand the saving the children from hell or whatever. It's possible because I remember they talked about the, the fact that there was um, unsterile needles uh, used for vaccination. So maybe those are the the soul. So basically, it's all the, the game is possibly about all the guilt that the priest feels over things that have happened in his life. And then, of course, the penultimate guilt is the guilt of killing the child and then covering it up by saying, oh, I just found him like this and let's give him a burial, you know, and having to deal with that guilt and search for salvation. That's really what it's about. And it has sort of a cathartic ending with him being saved at the end. I don't know if there's multiple endings if you fail to do X, Y, or Z, though. Um, and, uh, like, if you fail to get all the icons, because that seems to be something that you can possibly fail doing um and uh yeah so maybe it was just like the, the uh, accumulation of guilt uh, throughout the priest's life you know children that had died under his care that you know in deaths that were possibly preventable you know um communication of cholera through you know using unsterile vaccination techniques and all sorts of other stuff so didn't really understand the whole alchemy aspect i mean there was a lot there was a bit a lot of these puzzle games are very sort of obtuse like this, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was awesome, and it, it had some Christmassy uh, imagery. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind a overly cathartic Christmas game, you know, now. <laughs> Just a quarter palette cleanse, because that was pretty dark in places. Um, especially since it is Christmas. Something to play that just, you know, gets you in the mood for the holidays and is, like, sort of cheery and happy, but, uh, but that was a great game. I really enjoyed it, so I'm glad I got a chance to play it. And, uh, thank you all for, uh, checking out this Let's Play. Um, so, yeah, I would say, I mean, if you've made it this far, I, I don't know if you'd want to play the game because you've seen everything, but, um, uh, I hope that any of you who have, uh, any interest in the game or thought it looked cool would check it out you know and support the developer i think they're pretty great i don't know much about them outside of this um but i will definitely be looking up their catalog on steam and seeing what else they have available so um thanks for stopping by and checking out this let's play and keep your eyes peeled i'm going to be working on lost in vivo and layers of fear 2 as well this weekend probably these were yeah supposed to be this is supposed to be my halloween roster but um I don't have any other Christmas themed games, so I started with this and now I'm sort of in a horror mood, so I'll probably finish out the rest of those um, uh, this weekend and have them up uh, so you guys can check them out. Anyways, uh, thanks again for stopping by. That's all from me.